Hello people, do you have a land? Do you want to build? Do you want a professional to give you an expert advice on the right materials to buy for your construction? Or have you ever thought about going into construction? Today I'm going to speak to one entrepreneur who is changing the narrative in the industry. Follow me and let's go to Nuse Construction. We are at Nuse's Construction, um, a vibrant young man who is changing, you know, the perspective in the construction industry. Thank uh, you very much. Thank it's you. a pleasure having you. Great. It's, it's, it's quite been hectic trying to <laughs> get me, but finally we are here. Wait, I just wanted to find out what is the meaning of Nuse. Uh, Nuse means strength in nowhere. Okay. Yes, I actually wanted to use the name Fortress. And you know, uh, per the additional description, Fortress is like a... Um, a security building used for in terms of war okay it's like a strong building like in the bible term strong tower great yes fortress so why use an english word i i looked at to other names like um, the simony which i where i did my national service i'm like they're using a name so why not use something which is familiar to me and within my setting and maybe one day like another like a day like this when i'm explaining it will make sense great so you send me strength <laughs> And I'm poised to produce or provide something which will last a lifetime. So, Nuse. Okay, so um, at what point um, did you decide I want to do construction? Was it something you learned in school? Oh, okay, yes. I wasn't that kind of kid who actually had something I would really wanted to do in my, in my when I grew up. I was just following the procedures just like that. But uh, I think in selection of schools after JHS, I, I, I chose a technical course. I went to a technical school, did building construction. And I think that's where I can really flow, apart from other things that I do. So that's how come construction and other things related to construction came in. Oh, great, great. So for how long have you been in the construction industry? So if you should add, just after I came out from tertiary, I should I should be in my seventh year the way about. Okay. So uh, what motivated um, you going into construction? Um, aside maybe you having the passion to learn about technical oh, you know, uh, skills in school. You know, um, looking at construction related stuff, if you don't get it right, then it's, it's, it's as good as not starting at all. And uh, it, it's, it's important that we get it right in terms of construction because it's a lifetime investment. Yeah. So upon realizing that I, there was a contribution I could, my quota, I could add some level of contribution to it by um, getting on my own and making sure that at the smaller scale, whilst we're going, yeah. we could provide the best materials for people to put up the the houses because it's it's a form of security and it has to be right very it true. has to be right very very true. Right. Yes. Very what goes into the construction of the blocks that i'm seeing here okay uh basically you need to get your materials right if the materials are right and the processes are right you you have you have the best blocks to provide and um, so we we'll sort out the materials we have so many quarries companies and like a rock there are sedimentations of the rock okay so sometimes you also need to go out there and outsource the right quarry materials but well, that is a basic component for the block production the right quarry materials and then the best cement to be able to bind them together machines they vary from person to person and from place to place depending on your the level of the scale of production okay so we have the manual and we have this semi automated one and we have the advanced one oh. so those are basically that the things that go into it yes okay mm -hmm. so for year do, uh, which kind of blocks do you produce i know of the holo blocks but um, oh there's holo the solid and there's the local or which is the sunkrit one okay i i but my customer base is really the mostly the quarry ones yeah. local ones or the, the sunkrit ones they really come once in a while so okay. I don't really focus, but basically that's what I do. Okay, and so I do most of the, the sizes are really available on the market or the demand is high. The five, six, and then the five holo. Mm. Yeah, but we're growing gradually. 
So what's the difference between the quarry one and the the sanctuary one? The sanctuary one. The sanctuary one. one is made from the regular soil. Okay. There are types of soil. Great. Which would also help get the best, the like the good sanctuary one. But um, the quarry one is actually a rock that has been crushed. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's the difference. It's the soil and there's a rock that has been crushed. <laughs> and so if a rock has been crushed to form <laughs> aggregates, it will give you yeah. But you see. It goes back to the processes involved, the mixing, okay. the type of soil, the type of quarry dust, the aggregates, the either you're adding additives or like hardness or whatever or all those things. So these are things that mix it, the difference. But they are all blocks. Okay. Yes, and it, it's also based on the budget of the customer, the customer. and the use of the block. Okay. So that will, that's what makes the difference. Okay. So can you take us through? You know, you mentioned that the processes involved. Mm. Can you take us through them systematically? Okay. So um, by the British standard, we, we there's a batching process for measuring. But with time, we we can we can actually get a batching process without actually using the the required tool. Okay. Okay. Now for batching, you can use a box. So one portion of that box of cement to a certain amount or certain quantity of the same boxes to the quarry dust or the sand. Yes. And then you have to get your pl your platform right. Okay. So you so that you don't have other components. Coming in, but the, uh, when you want to mix on the regular floor, you know you have other stuff in the soil. Sometimes mm -hmm. waste weeds, <laughs> roots coming in. So you have to get your mixing platform right. Water should be from a natural source. Okay. So either a stream, a dam, or rainwater. Pipe water isn't bad. Okay. But uh, it so shouldn't contain too much chemicals. Of, yes, of salt oh. or chemicals. Otherwise, your binding process. And then either you're using the manual machine, the, the manual mode, or using this one, you just have to produce and make sure you place it right. Yes, you said that you're using a well prepared platform, mm -hmm. but you're using the soil, but it has to be level so that the, you can get the base right. Wow, 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 right. wow. So, where do you get your water? Because um, coming to this area, I, okay, I there, 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 there are dugout dams around, yes, and uh, because. There's been some level of sun waning not too fast from this area. There are places where it's almost like a pond. Okay. Where when it, it rains, it gathers, it gathers water for a long time. Right. Yes. But when the dry season is really at its peak, we buy water. We okay. buy water. Okay. We buy water. Okay. We buy water. Okay. So what what excites you with with um, this work that you are doing? Okay. The fact that um, I'm able to touch lives by pro providing the best materials mm -hmm. for people, because sometimes. I come in encounter with customers just when they're about their processes, starting their building processes. Yeah. The fact that I've been able to contribute good materials okay. to be able to give them their preferred structure, whether home or whatever purpose they want it, I feel satisfied. Wow. And when I make some good money, I'm able to touch other lives. It, it, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Wow. It makes sense. Wow. It makes so sense. How, how, how is your daily routine like? It's, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it depends on day to day. Okay. It's not like a, a casting. It's not like a casting block or whatever. Yeah. It depends on day to day. There are days where you're going out there to go and see clients, go to their sites. Either you're doing supervision for them or you're passing by to just check their, pro their progress. Uh -huh. There are days where you also go to outsource the materials. There are days where you only would just want to gather all your, get your water. Sure. Because it's a hectic process trying to fetch it. I fetch it myself. Okay. I go on my track with the, 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 the barrels, uh, tanks, and then pumping machine and everything. So it differs from day to day. There are times where calls can come through and it will change the routine. At the end of the day, it has to be a productive day. Yeah. It has to be a productive day. So it differs from day to day. There are days where, or even weeks where I literally is less busy. You either find me watching TV or doing some extra stuff. <laughs> mm. All right. So um, do you have um, any challenges that comes with the work? Oh, there are lots of challenges, but whoever is watching this video shouldn't be discouraged. Yeah. It comes with it. And that is what informs how, you know, strong and well, how well you are to do what you're doing. It comes to lots of challenges, manpower, electricity, bad roads, um, 
yeah, water. Sometimes when the the seasons are dry, mm. water. Um, Customers, but <laughs> because they are always right, we, I would not, yeah. I would not, I would not look at them as um, a challenge. But every day comes with its own pros and cons. But we do, we, we take, we tackle them one step at a time. And oh, crazy! Yeah. There, there are lots of challenges, but mm. the price hikes and the materials, labor, <laughs> I can't go over all of them. But literally, <laughs> we we are pushed to do it. Mm. Yes, we're opposed to the so We're here. Oh, great. So, um, aside construction, do you do any other business? Uh, um, I run. Um, I'm into mobile money stuff. Okay. Yes, that's actually my my foundation. That's how come everything all start. Everything started. Uh, and I'm in, I'm an MC as well. On Instagram and on Facebook, you can follow me on uh, at MC Eternal. MC underscore Eternal. Okay. That's a side gig. So mostly weekends, <laughs> you probably won't find me here. Oh, okay. And all yes. So apart from this, I have other small businesses. Yeah, other small, small businesses. businesses. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So what what advice will you give to anyone who aspires to become an entrepreneur? What advice will you give to the person? Entrepreneurship has moved from just speaking English. It's not just a, a <laughs> tongue t- a tongue twisting word. Okay. It's it. It's being willing to do something and do it. It's going to be challenging, but trust me, if you get to a point where the results show, that is where the satisfaction, that is where you you look back and you realize that it was all for good. You understand? So whoever is watching this video, whichever year you're going to chance on this video, irrespective, it's going to be challenging, but it gets worse before it gets better. Okay. So, enough of the business plan. Put your hand mm-hmm. to the wheel and get it done. You can read all the good books in the wheel, yeah. but it differs from person to person. The, the examples might not play out the same way. Yes. So put your mind to it. Do what you've got to do. At the end of the day, what is it you want to achieve? That is it. So it gets worse before it gets better. Always. So at any point in time when it's getting worse, you should know that after the storm comes the rain. Definitely. And after the rain comes sunshine. So. That's right. <laughs> yeah. After the rain comes um, sunshine. Mm. That's it's a process. Powerful. It's a process. You need to go through it. If you don't go through the process, you don't come out well. Gold goes through the process. Blocks go through the process. Everything goes through a process. Sure. If you skip a process, you might arrive on baked, not well baked. <laughs> that would be a, a recipe for disaster. <laughs> wow. Um, any words of inspiration or motivation to our brothers and sisters in the diaspora? Oh, you know, it's 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 good to have that exposure. Africa and Ghana is catching up by the day. Yeah. So if you can bring your experience here, bring your money, and invest, it can only get better for us as Africans and as Ghanaians and yeah. as Blacks. Let's commit to helping either the government or society in education and health touch a life. A single dollar will do a magic to somebody. Yeah. So. You can enjoy all the wonderful things in New York, in Disney, in everywhere. Like, but it's time to come back home, touch a life, do something. You understand? Do something. Yeah. Because you know, all those small dollars that you can spare can do lots of things here. Definitely. <laughs> can do lots of things here. You can do lots of things here. Yeah. So come and then build the skills of other young Africans, other young Ghanaians. And let them catch up. Gradually, we'll get there. Gradually, we'll get there. Gradually, we'll get there. Yeah. Gradually. So, where, where do you see NoSec construction in the next five we're, years? We're, we're, we're poised to become a well full fledged construction company. But just like any other business, it starts from somewhere. Yeah. It starts from somewhere. And being, being somebody who's been trained in that space, I know what it takes. And so every day I'm working towards it. Yeah. And all we ask for is long life, good health, <laughs> and good fortunes. And we'll get there. We'll become um, a household name, if not nationally or globally. 
in our small space wherever we find ourselves. Yeah. We'll be able to do the best of jobs for much cheaper price. Yeah. And you never know. We would all have smiles at the end of the day. <laughs> oh great. Uh, so do you provide consultancy service as well? Oh yeah, sure. Um for clients who want to listen, why not? For and I don't do it at a cost because this is something that I've done after a while. After a long time, I've worked with one of the best construction companies you can find in Africa. Great. And so I've gathered lots of info. And I can see I can see a good work when it starts. And like I said, if a, a client wants to listen, I'm willing to, to give consultancy for free. Okay. Yes. Okay. It doesn't cost a thing to tell you to do it right. That is provided you want to do it right. Today, trying. Yes. Because construction is not like um it's not like a shirt, a sewn shirt where you can undo it, <laughs> undo the stitches okay, and go yeah, back in. Yeah. yeah. To correct construction is, mm. is it's difficult to correct construction when it goes bad. Okay. So 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 in which areas um do you give um your consultancy? Oh every aspect of construction, okay. trust me. From from outsourcing the land to uh, doing landscaping. From outsourcing the land to finishing a building or a project, doing landscaping, painting. Yes. Wow. Luckily building technologists learn everything about construction. Okay. We are we are not we just don't have one we are, we are, we are, I don't know where we do everything open. Okay. Yes, we do almost every aspect yeah, of almost every aspect of construction. construction yes. oh, that's that's so inspirational. Mm -hmm. um, so for anyone out there, you know, if you if you want to build, if you want even you know the sand and the <laughs> cement to buy, I think um, Nusa Construction is the, is the right place to be. Please, um, if somebody wants to contact you, um, where, where, my where number do you is, stay? is my number. I think it's a global village now. Yeah. And so is that my my social media handles or my phone number okay yes so my number is zero two four six four nine seven one three four zero two four six four nine seven one three four depending on which uh, or which country you want to call from you prefix it with the, the Ghana code and um, on Instagram and on Facebook MC underscore Etonam Etonam is E-T-O-R-N-A-M MC underscore Etonam Great I'll be available to help <laughs> <laughs> Alright so your final word of inspiration oh. Your final word of inspiration to anyone out there We're young We have only one life to live Let's put a smile Any which way we can Everywhere we go let's put a smile let's make somebody fulfilled and happy because they met us because most of our lives is to bright our torches in the part of other people who cannot who cannot find their way so that we all we all we all have a wonderful world to live we all have a wonderful yeah. world to live mm. so anyone out there and you see the good part of uh, everything is that is offering his consultancy service for free and um i bet you me you not get it anywhere for free <laughs> so if he is giving it to you for free i think um he's the right person to deal with um, so call him today um if you have any needs um in construction and i believe that you deliver the best thank you and see you um, next time bye